Yes, yes, nice. yes. Looking. Um, Jim, can we cancel the game? <laughs> <laughs> I, if there's a meat fest and you're paying, I will say yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Got what it. time? <laughs> Earlier, <I> better. <laughs> could perhaps shoot for Saturday if that would be better. I'm good with Friday. <laughs> Uh, I'm Jim? good with either of those. I do have a game until noon on Saturday. All right. So, uh, I mean, Kelly's pushing for Friday a little bit there. Is either one. I, I'm totally open with either one. All right. So I'll tell you, um, my buddy Landon can't do Friday. Let me see how he feels about Saturday. Double and check with Golda, too. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll reach out to Golda too. You know, I'm trying to open the floodgates slowly. <laughs> and I'll work it out from there. And of course, Jim, and uh, you, you know, you're welcome to come. And of course, and JC, JC, and Dave. Yeah, I mean, it, it, <laughs> if you haven't been to the Brazilian artists. place, it's fantastic. Both, both you guys are, are welcome to. Welcome to join. Yeah, I gotta see where the funds are. So after I get paid on uh, Thursday, <laughs> so I have been to. I have not been there yet, but I've been to the uh, uh, Korean that uh, all you can eat barbecue, which replaced Fuddruckers. How's that? Yeah. I, I keep driving by there. Um, I'm gonna have to stop by there sometime and see uh, see what I think. Is it decent? No, it was good, and you know. They just keep bringing them eat and different things, and you cook it there yourself um, right. on a hot plate. Yep. And they were really good, keeping the hot plate changed out to keep it, um, you know, good and fresh and, you know, not too much buildup and stuff on it. Cool. So the bagogi was amazing. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And they have multiple types of bagogi. <laughs> So they had spicy, they had regular, they had beef, they had pork. Um, so yeah, it's about forty bucks, but you do want to make the reservation because if you don't, you'll be waiting a good hour and a half. And of course, that's okay. They don't mind that because right in front of the place, they have a boba tea little place <laughs> that costs you like ten bucks a freaking. Uh, tea or something like that Jesus. yeah no i think i'll stick with bing's boba tea <laughs> i've never had boba tea that's uh, good but not 10 bucks worth went with some friends and the two of them ordered one and it was 20 bucks i'm like holy fuck <laughs> that's 20 bucks down before you went in and paid 40 bucks per person for their meal <laughs> with and if you get drinks drinks are eight to eight to ten bucks eight to fifteen somewhere in there <laughs> if you get you know specialty drinks which i'm sure the bazillion place is the same thing the last time i looked at prices mm -hmm. you know if you want to get fancy and start having fancy drinks it's adds up really fast and their uh, creme brulee is to die for <laughs> oh yeah it's it's really so good, sir. good it would appear the trove is down yes uh, yes, for, for those that have not heard, it's been down for two weeks. There are some folks on Twitter taking credit for crashing it. Oh, great. So it's Mainly, not like illegal down, it's crashed. Uh, I know. Oh, it's it's like illegal down. That Basically, they've been pushing to get the site crashed because some of their products are on the site without them getting paid. So, uh -huh. the, I mean, they had a legal right to do it, but they're, they're, they're being a little shitty about it. Yep. I'm sure it's going to pop up again, but it's going to be super, super <laughs> tight-lipped when it does. Right. Yeah. Because the, the gentleman that runs the Trove isn't even responding to people's messages. So people are like, for the first week, they're like, did he die? What's going <laughs> on? <laughs> so that, that, that will be interesting. 
Uh, I've gotten most of the stuff I need off of it, but <laughs> I, I kind of scrambled because I did not have everything on every computer that I needed it on. <laughs> so I had I to mean, get the uh, hard, portable hard drives out and cons consolidate books. Right. So I... since we are speaking about meats, by the way, yes, the title of today's adventure is "Where's the Nerf." So, um, you know, I took a little bit of a closer look, and yeah, I am totally making that crate pearl my my primary lightsaber. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I started. Reading through it more carefully, I'm like, yeah, this thing actually is even better than my Mephite crystal. Well, not why do you think ton, Darth wanted it? Not by a ton, mind you. It, it is better in one regard. I crit on a one now instead of a two. Yeah, that's huge. It's, huge. it's kind of yeah. ridiculous. Yep. <laughs> Plus, the Mephite crystal um, leaves me a little exposed, so... Well, and if we have a Sith looking for us, I much prefer to my Jedi friend to have as, you know, be as well as equipped as possible. The crystal that they want, that way they're not looking at us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, um, yeah, that uh, more equipped. That's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that way you can say, he's got it. Right, exactly. <laughs> Where's my crate pearl? She's got it. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of that, so so what's our new obligation and how much? A billion? A billion? <laughs> what's what's up with that? <laughs> so uh, yes, uh, there is a new obligation. It's it's on a combination of it, it's not under one person. It's under the ship and the group oh, because okay. uh, you now have ten new points of betrayal. Um, the fact the that Sith would have betrayed us anyways, so right? Yeah. <laughs> that you betrayed Darth La Lord Lady Lennox. Yeah. So uh, that'll totally be interesting. Yeah, and we yeah, have the obligation work. chart as a random roll set up now. So watch this. Watch this. Here's our obligation roll. Of course, it would have to come up with me, and I haven't yet filled out my obligations like Jim told us to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of noticed that when I redid the obligation pool. It's huge, by the way, with everyone's obligation listed on the dice pool. If, if in case you guys were interested, I might as well make it so you guys can look at the uh, dice pool. All your obligations are listed there. Uh, except it's blank. I don't for see me. anything. <laughs> Oh, did we already clear the pool? Is it that time? Is it time? It, it is that time. Right. Roll those beautiful dice. Oh, oh! Look at the light side. Look at the light side. Yeah, this is unacceptable. Go to the light. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I got to get mine up in a second. I was trying to. Oops. Let go. Yeah, your dice. Your uh, dice pool there ain't showing. Oh. Uh, okay. All right, where are you going to come at? There we go. There, there, there we go. And, Damn it. and <laughs> somebody's got to bring some dark. Me and Janong got you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know we're screwed. <laughs> They're all happy go lucky. Look, we stole it. Oh, how great. <laughs> no, Janong no, I, like, I know. I'm Janong like, and I are okay. like, yeah, we're fucked. Going to have to reroll characters soon. <laughs> So, uh, since Alina's exile obligation did come up, uh, th th throw me some, uh, some, some chum there to work with. All Old right, chum. I was actually just tipping up a short, uh, short little bit here. So, I mean, this is the same one that came up last time. It's basically from, uh, from Corellia, where I was uh, born, started growing up. Uh, family um, basically was... Um, 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 not bankrupted, but uh, yeah, kind of bankrupted, and I was made the scapegoat, and so exiled from Corellia. 
So is it more of a family background or a Jedi background that we have to worry about? This one's more family background. Unfinished business is my Jedi background. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so thankfully, Uma being who Uma is, and uh, yeah, if, if, you, if you look in the Skype chat, I did send you some screenshots of uh, what uh, Janong's been doing with the transponder, the actual rules of how to do that, if you were curious. And of course, what the coolness of a crate Dragon Pearl is, and how sad it is when a Jedi carves that crystal up to fit into a lightsaber. <laughs> well, you know, that's actually not really canon anymore because according to the show, they're freaking huge. Mm hmm. Well, what it is is, you know, it's basically that uh, you have this giant pearl and you've carved it down. And there's only enough to be used for one lightsaber. So you've cored that sucker. Because yeah, after all. Sure, there. That's a pretty, pretty tiny ball compared to. <laughs> well, it could be that it was a younger crate and it didn't have time to, you know, mm -hmm. how pearls get larger as they mm -hmm. age. Or you just, you know, find a crate dragon and force feed it a bunch of things that become pearls. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. I was focused on typing. It's okay. Okay, so Uma found you guys a great job working for a Alderanian princess. So good of a job, she knows it's totally legit and safe. And the best part is, is it's big money. It just requires you guys to be quick in your work. Sorry, sorry. Ship's middle name. Okay. <laughs> That's totally the ship's middle name. Wait, Jim, I think I'm mixing them up. I think that Exiled is the one with the Jedi and the Padawan who um, framed me and got me kicked out of the Jedi Academy. <clears throat> okay. So it's Jedi <laughs> Exile. That's the one I wanted to make sure. Good to know. So basically, uh, the client that Uma's having dinner with right now, because of course, you know, Uma's getting all she can out of her schmoozy friend, is uh, Lady Almi from Alderaan, who's wanting you guys to go to a Nerf ranch on Sludrin in the Cholaran sector of the galaxy, which is basically wild space. If you ask the Sith Empire, sure they claim it, but there's no actual Sith Empire presence. So you don't so have to a stress Nerf French that. where? On the planet Sludrin 5. Basically, who's it's... the princess? What's her name? Her name is Princess Olami. Would you like me to post that in the feed there? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> I mean, because otherwise I'm writing all of me. <laughs> all of me. Why not take all of me? <laughs> so, just, I'm, I'm not assuming you'd now. like it posted in the roll 20. Yes, please. And uh, basically, she's she's negotiating with uh, Uma over a delicious Nerf steak, so you can experience these delectable, savory Nerf steaks that you're going to be going and getting. Thankfully, not on the hoof, but actually as oh, steaks. Good. We're totally not stealing from Firefly. <laughs> And uh, she basically is wooing you with a little of this and a little of that. And oddly enough, the station that you guys are meeting her on, she happens to be there because she's picking up other things for her fancy party that she's throwing. It's basically an engagement party that she's, she's going to be having, so she wants to be very fancy. Now, one of the big things 
is the payout because of course we all know how how much of a stickler Uma is about bringing that stuff up. Yeah. And after yeah. The, the first course, you know, you guys have some nice delectable tasty things and I'm assuming you brought at least one other crew member with you for this this luncheon. Yeah. Probably Alina. This poor Zerk's like I never get brought as a lunch date. Well, right. Zerk might make them uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, well, they make me uncomfortable. <laughs> they don't know you like I do. So did uh, did we ever get this dice pool thing fixed? Doesn't look like it. I closed it since it wasn't. Yeah, I just did the same. I was gonna say what All dice? Right, what dice pool issue? The uh, the dice pool sheet you put up. We can't see the actual information. Yeah, it's just blank for us, so I just closed it. There's bio and info, and there's nothing there. What they said. Oh. Apparently, oh. you guys can't see the character sheet tab? No. Nope. I clicked show to players, but apparently it doesn't want to show it to you guys. Nope. Nope. Oh, well, then that means you don't get to see it. <laughs> so, so, maybe if you put it under NPCs, it'll work better. Maybe. But uh, she basically is offering you 10,000 credits. Wow. 6,000, which, of course, will be... Uh, she, or, she basically is putting in the order as you know you guys are having the meal. 6,000 will be to go towards the stakes. And 4,000 is in advance for you delivering it. And as long as you can return within three days, there'll be another 6,000 credits for you. So 6,000 credits up front, four on delivery, or did I get that reversed? Reversed. Uh, 6,000 yeah. for the stakes, 4K up front, okay. and 6,000 upon. 4K up front. So the, basically the six that you're spending in stakes to purchase, which by the way, you can totally ch choose to haggle, but that's up to you. She's just putting in the order from the bestest ever meat vendor that her friend told her all about, because apparently there's something about the alkaline water that these nerf drink and it causes them to be super, super, super subtle in flavor and tender and delicious and that's the but only another reason. Another six k if we can get there in le in within three days. Yep. Which, by You're the back. way, from uh, I'm sure your navigator would tell you that basically requires you to have at least two successes on your astrogation check. <laughs> Is that all? Is that all? <clears throat> yes, and our navigator would say it just like that. <laughs> I think Janan's a navigator. <laughs> yes. But he can use the astro droid, the astromech droid, to assist. And on the plus side, she she's giving you guys the coordinates. I mean, I'm sure you can try to astrogate it faster if you wanted to and hopefully roll a despair. But uh, the coordinates to the planet. <laughs> it's a nice little... Uh, temperate planet it's mostly like de you know like high desert shrubs things like that there's some indigenous species but you won't be dealing with any of them the, the ranchers are in the like the the biggest little town on the planet okay and of well course, it sounds pretty lucrative so yeah let's do it piece of cake what could go wrong and, and the, the best part is you came highly recommended from some friend, mutual friends of ours. Probably uh, that one guy on uh, uh, Coruscant. Probably a Sith Lord trying to get us to poke our heads out. That's <laughs> <laughs> not it, the first time we've dealt in edibles. <laughs> it, it's a mutual <laughs> friend of ours on the wheel. Oh, Big oh. exaggerated eyelash, yeah. winky, winky, winky. Uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. As this yeah. Alderanian princess has, has feathers on her eyelashes to make them look bigger. Yeah, uh, that would be Chayden. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. With a sunny disposition. 
but sometimes tall and dark. Wink, wink. Uh -huh. <laughs> she likes to play with the, uh, I, I'm a princess playing on the dark side. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah, um, this is basically through our Black Sun connections. Okay, we'll take it. We'll we'll do it. And she basically will gladly, you know, has you pull out your uh, boss data pad, and she she signs the paperwork, so it's all nice and legal. Because you know, this is a legal job after all. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's totally above board. Okay, so so she, and and are you giving her your real name? Um, well, if she was referred to by my friend, air quotes, air quotes, um, uh, Chayden, then he, she, then yeah, she'd be familiar with my real name. Okay. So Mama. she basically, you know, gives you the, the, you know, spiel of these steaks, they have to be delivered within three days or else they start to go, you know, tough. And I can't have at my engagement party tough nerf. I must have supple nerf. <laughs> <laughs> These subtle nuances is, is totally worth it. Yeah. Okay. Well, then uh, we shall uh, get it there on time. And she uh, gives you an extra little data stick that's, of course, got the coordinates to where you guys need to go. It's going to be out, out there a bit. So she, she basically just says, make sure, you know, you may want to spend a few credits to update your uh, astrogation charts. At least that's what she was recommended to do. I mean, she, she perished the thought that she would tell you how to do your job. All right. Um, well, and of course, the meal was on her, right? Of course. <laughs> okay. All right, then I will thank her for the meal, thank her for the uh, um, business, and we'll be seeing her um, three days hence. Okay, she she you know pleasantly excuses you guys, and of course at this at that moment she excuses you guys. The chef comes out from the kitchen to to introduce himself and say, "So is that how you're wanting your food cooked?" And she just starts instantly doing the whole starlet schmooze. You're having Kardashian flashbacks. <laughs> I've never seen the Kardashians. <laughs> and your life is better for it. You. Yes. Okay. So is there anything special you guys are doing while you're packing up to head out? Um, how much would uh, updated astrogation charts cost? Usually they're only about 500 credits. Uh... See, I have no idea how much money we have left because that part was lost when my computer died. I don't know. Then you broke. I know. We had poorly. quite a bit. No, no. I know that we had quite a bit. Um, For some reason, the number 60,000 is popping into my head. Uh, no, I think we had more than that because of uh, the additional job that we had done. Uh yeah, because oh, sorry. this my the notes that I do did have are only up to December. So um I meant one hundred and sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. So I at last don't know. This is I think we're difference. only at like seventy three after upgrades and stuff like that. Truthfully. Yeah, because I know we spent some on upgrades and stuff, but we still had pretty chunk of change. Um, so uh, I don't think anybody does. Anybody have uh, notes as to how much we had? I nope. did not keep count of the money. I know. I'm sorry. It just means your captain spent it frugally. Yeah. yeah. I did not. I, well, we spent it on some of it on armor upgrades. You guys had the best food on the ship for about three months. <laughs> you had you, you had Uber Smuggle Dash bring you food to your airlock every morning. <laughs> fresh yeah, no. pickled Quasac eggs, pickled freshly that morning. Okay, so we're gonna say we had at least sixty-five that K. Um, 
or uh, E three K number. That sounds pretty promising. I mean, uh, we actually had more than that, I think, but I don't know. Shouldn't it be on your character sheet? Uh, no, because I was putting it in my notes because that we keep a running tally. But then my computer fried. Um, and my hard drive thought it had been running for 94 years when it had only been active since January. <laughs> and uh, so Uma's got to kind of spend her experience. Running. She's got a lot built up there. Well, then save it to the OneDrive as opposed to the hard drive. True to that. True that. Never trust your computer not to die at the most inopportune moment. Right. Yeah. Well, I just learned that the hard way. Um, let's see here. And the last one we did pretty well. So we've got to be over we've got to be over 70k. Well over 70k now. I'm sure. Um, but we'll stick with up. the 60 number. It just means you were spending <laughs> it. Sounds like Sounds like wait, no, no, wait, 60 no, no. is a okay. safe number. So, um, I'm going to say estimate. Since you guys were laying low for a while after that last job, you know, it, it, it costs money to lay low and not make money on your ship. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we made over 10K just on that one. Oh, that's a good point. Let's see here. Uh, here. As all of a sudden, y'all realize, oh shit, they paid us in advance, didn't they? Exactly, and they were going to pay us more once we got there. Plus, yeah, I got one, that additional thousand off of them. Yeah, it wasn't like we just took the pearl. We took the payment and the pearl. The pearl, exactly. <laughs> and the very expensive droid that, for all intents and purposes, you absconded with. Somehow self-destructed. Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> SOB3. <laughs> What? what? They're making no, no. Okay, uh, actually, no. Frontiers? Okay, at least I found no. that part. Um, no, we got 2,000 credits up front. I got um, us an additional um, 1,000 credits uh, right. out of that. Because your, your, your armchair general slash shotgun negotiations. Yeah, so we're at about, and that one guy did give five hundred credit as apparent uh, credit as we apparently uh, were carrying additional cargo. Um, so yeah, we can pay the five hundred for. You think? Yeah. Okay, so you're getting nice up to date star charts. Everything's all, you know, the latest upgrades. So your 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 Windows ten is all updated. Yeah, and we've got roughly sixty four k left. And that, that um, will give you a blue dice to your astrogations for the, the, the near future, by the way. And if the droid helps, that's another blue dice for you, Janong. Are you concerned with Janong's role? <laughs> I'm concerned <laughs> that... Wow. wow. Yeah, I'm worried. She's doubting your ability. Yeah, that's no, fine. no, I just fine. want us to do really Get well. It. I get it. I understand. Because <laughs> I fumble rolls so much. No. Careful. You're going you're to you're you're gonna gonna make something happen there. It's just that my astrogation is not that great. I mean, I've got two ranks in it, but that's it. Just two yellows. All right. Well, do yours. Are we, are we ready for me to roll? Are, are you guys doing anything or buying anything before you guys leave? <laughs> no, because we're not we giving you more. The, we bought the uh, updated start uh, chart. Yeah, that's yeah, that's just a quick download. At the moment. I mean, you, you are going into wild space. Oh, bring it. Extra ammo. <laughs> I mean... Blaster packs are an important thing. One strain, I can recharge any blaster pack. Sweet. <laughs> Wouldn't mind a stem pack or two. I only got two. I got two extra reloads, so I'm good there. All 
Oh. Yeah, if we wanted to buy a handful of uh, stim packs, that would probably be nice. Yeah. Okay. Got... I think I still have two. Check my shame. I mean, I'd hate for a total party kill because somebody didn't want to buy some stims. After throwing away 500 with, for charts. <laughs> <laughs> throwing it away. It's not throwing it away. I trust Janong. He'd have found us getting there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's buy um, uh, how much is a stim pack? Well, oh. Standard price. <laughs> here it's probably extra. Uh, no, actually it's, you're, you're in civilized space here. So it's just standard cost. Nobody's price gouging here because it's in the supply lines. So what's the standard cost? So that would be, should be 50 credits. Is it 50? I thought it was 25. Right. He said standard. <laughs> so is that 25 or 50? What does yeah. the book say? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm pulling up. Oops. I'd look it up, but the trove is down. <laughs> well, you're supposed to download from Trove, not just read from Trove. I'm opening up my character sheet. Real quick. <clears throat> they might be 50. I thought they were 25, but they might be 50. I think I'm thinking to recharge. I think those are 25. Oh, come on. Generators taking forever. Equipment, gear, medical. See, I use the Star Wars RPG FFG wiki. Yeah. Stim pack is 25. See? Oh, yeah, okay. Good. He was trying to gouge us. I was trying to, to, to <laughs> so, upgrade you. So let's buy uh, eight stim packs. I can't believe they're remaking they're rem Star Frontiers. If anybody they're remaking played everything. Because mm -hmm. nobody can come up with anything on their own anymore. I want to yeah. play one of the blobs, <laughs> what they were called. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited that the new Intellivision console is coming out this year. Mm. I've already... Put a down payment on it. Nice. So eight. So I'll take an extra. Excuse me. Take, excuse an, extra. Me, take an extra. So I'm carrying. So I'm three carrying. Three yeah, I'll take two. So I'm carrying three. Yeah. Just in case. So two for each of us. Oh, well, then that puts me at four. So that's four. okay. I take lots of damage. <laughs> on, on occasion. So do I, on occasion. So do I. <laughs> all right. That's all I can think of. Okay. So Let me up to four stim packs. I never take hey. damage. <laughs> Except when you got <laughs> critted on with it's lightsabers. Yeah. Just when you do, <laughs> you, do. <laughs> you do it really well. <laughs> I'm like, that's crazy like, talk. That's... Yeah. Well, yeah. see if you get knocked out, who says you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Did you really get knocked out if you don't remember? <laughs> See? <laughs> okay, so you guys basically grab some first aid and then uh, head to the ship? Yeah, because I can't get any cybernetics, so yeah. I mean, you can totally get cybernetics, but you'll probably end up late to the uh, delivery. Yeah, well, and I'm no, at no. six of six. I'm at six of six right now, so I got to do some adjusting eventually. Ooh. Those, those, those big fists of yours, man. I got to get rid of uh, some of the cheap shit, the Katala shit. 
get some real stuff to replace those. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are getting all ready to head out? Yep. Yep. Okay, so you guys, are you going to just use the the coordinates that you were given, or are you going to have Janong try to do, do some crazy shit? Um, Janong, do you want to try and improve our time? Yes, why wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. In two days. Okay, so I've got your difficulty in there for Wild Space. I've got a blue dice in there for your updated records. And a blue draw dice for uh, the Astromech. Okay. I was just getting to flip on. <laughs> I figured he wanted it. I, I figure if you got two blue <laughs> dice, you can afford to have an upgrade. Are you, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Massive fail. I'm sure you'll pass. So yeah. Wow. Though. Oh, barely pass. Okay, Water so dice. you succeeded in finding a better route than the coordinates gave you. The coordinates gave you the safe route. You, you know the safe route. Everybody who's a tourist takes the safe route. Not a professional like our team. I mean, I, I'm expecting Janong to take some levels of Fringer and start, you know, making his own aggregation charts. <laughs> he already has a few uh, spaces uh, of his own. <laughs> so your course is probably going to take it the same amount of time as the one they gave you, but yours is sexier. How do you want to spend those two advantage and that big damn triumph? <laughs> I mean, the big damn triumph could get us there quicker. So you are greatly reducing the travel time. Yeah. yeah. Smooth sailing. Ooh. And we get there faster. A lot faster. Sounds like you're using the advantage as well for that. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Okay, something like Janong is wanting to make sure you're way ahead of schedule here. Okay, so with that astrogation, Uma, you know, she plots in the course, heads out, follows the nice, safe space lanes. You know she totally wants to, like, just rip full speed across this station. <laughs> you guys rip through Janong's coordinates and astrogation, which is a ridiculous, ridiculous, Ridiculous reduction of that, that basically you're shaving a third of the travel time off, nice. which is very nice. Hopefully, he yeah, does that well on the return trip when you have a cargo hole full, right? So, you guys kind of realize with when you're doing the, the, the three hops that you pop in and pop out of hyperspace that you, you guys are definitely going to the ass end of space. I mean, there, there's, there's zero doubt that, uh, the you know area out here really is. There's a reason why no one bothers to claim this area. Yeah, they call it the ass end of space, but I like the hometown feel. <laughs> <laughs> so you really had to have stopovers. You couldn't get rid of the stopovers here, John. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was kind of like bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> it, it was kind of good to start and stop to avoid the gas, you know, clouds that were in your way. Yeah, oh. but that's vulnerabilities. So you guys basically pop out of hyperspace in the Cholian sector space. You know, you see that there's a a slew of planets here. Pretty much all of them look like the the things that you don't want on a planet. You know, either gas planet, you know, ammonia planet, and then you see the fifth planet out there is this really nice green equator with brown everywhere else. And, of course, you know, you see the little buoy out there that basically gives you the planet's basic information. Which is really just, there's three cities to land on on this planet, and that's pretty much it. So, has Uma looked at the data stick to see information? I would have given it to Janong, since he's, you know, the info guy. Here, look at this. <laughs> right? I don't have time. 
Here, Check fucking plug this in. Look at this. <laughs> Do your job, bitch. <laughs> this is beneath my time. Yes, Captain. <laughs> so basically on the data stick, it's got the contact details for the uh, nerf rancher that you're looking for. You know, basically, uh, Drugashan is, is a Duros who basically is known for selling uh, nerf to select clientele because his nerf are the best. Ask him, he'll tell you every time. And basically, you know, the, the directions are when you guys get in the solar system, send him a message. And he'll have you park at the, the nearest town. He'll meet you there and he'll drive you out and uh, butcher your animals and then drive you back to wherever you park your ship. Okay. I'm pretty uh, yeah. fresh. <laughs> And he only deals in hard currency. What do you mean hard currency? Credits? Actual physical credits, not like uh, imperial credits, you know, where it's, it's, it's credit card numbers, not real currency. So um, I assume she paid for these up front. Uh, no, she Six. gave you a case with 10,000 credits. Oh, okay. Yeah. Four for your payment and six for the meat. So Take as, them down. Take them down. As, as all of you were looking so at the it. briefcase. So hold it, then that the, ten, the, the four up front, we're supposed to get 10 when we deliver. But you said we get another if we get there within three days. No, 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 no. He gave you ten, six to pay, and for four thousand for and you. Four thousand front, and then when we get back, we get another six k for a total of ten k. As long as you're there on time. Right. Okay. So your total will be ten thousand if you hit all the money making marks. And uh, like she told you that uh, when it comes to the price of the meat, six thousand is the price. But uh, she heard that you're good at haggling, so. If you haggle, that's totally up to you. I mean, I mean, I'd hate to see you losing a haggle and owe more, but yeah, <laughs> you got so, it. Uh, so you basically have this really nice designer Gucci bag that's totally a knockoff, full of ten thousand credits on the ship. Okay, um, Zarek, keep an eye on that. <laughs> Zarek okay. is your bag man. Well, yes, well, I trust people not to like be getting too close to him. <laughs> people like to cuddle and hug me. What do you mean? Gangs are super cuddable. <laughs> cuddable. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to cuddle Zarek? <laughs> yeah. He's a nice guy. <laughs> what is this picture that you put in? Oh, Nerf? That's the Nerf, yeah. Okay. They look yummy. Okay. Um, well, I only have three yellow in negotiations, so... Only? What is this only crab? Well, I'm sure he's... A, I'm perfectly willing to go ahead and uh, try and negotiate some, though. And, and, Are you... And you have advantages. Oh, because Zarek's with me, and I am going to go ahead and use a light side point. Well, you're not there yet. I mean, oh, I thought we were. Oh. Okay, then give it back. <laughs> I am, I am calling dibs on the negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, Zarek's got the directions. You guys are in orbit, but uh, he hasn't done anything with the directions. No, not well, me. You mean Janong? Right, uh, Janong. Wow. I don't there's know there's your directions. point back. Thank you. So, uh, Janong, you've got the directions on the data stick. What are you going to do? Uh, we're trusting of the directions, right? Just plug and play, baby. Okay, so you're going to get on the comms and radio down that you're here? Yep. Sure. Yeah. As immediately you get this static as it comes through. So, Hell and tarnation, you're here early. We're that good. 
You you, you just sent the order in a few hours ago. <laughs> yeah. A, yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You, you, you know, planet side, it's still dark outside, and we we don't start uh, butchering nerf until the the sun's up at least. We can turn the lights on. I was gonna say we have plenty of like landing lights on this ship. We can just <laughs> daylight this. Ship. How much longer till daylight, sir? Uh, it's it's gonna be about a good six hours, rocket jockey. How about mm. this? How about you come on down? I'll give you the coordinates to the to the city, and you can you know go to the cantina and wait for us. We'll come pick you all oh, up. Oh God, no cantinas! No cantinas! No cantina. <laughs> we'll we'll drive you on like, out to the PTSD property. With cantinas. Like, we'll, uh... we'll let you pick your cows, and, and we'll butcher <laughs> them for you right there. <laughs> we'll land at your yeah. place, and you cook us breakfast when you get up, and uh, we'll go. <laughs> I think he's awake now, so I mean... Yeah, the meat's not getting any fresher. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. what are we going to... You guys want to just land in town and wait six hours or land at his property and sleep inside the ship? <laughs> I, I vote for the latter. Yeah, what could go wrong at the cantina? Hmm. Yeah, I mean we don't have PTSD anymore from that area. So. <laughs> let's let's count the way. I mean it's a backwater cantina; it can't be any problems. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, on there's a, no on way. A, on a meta level, we can either go to the trouble, or Jim's going to bring the trouble to us. So we're damned <laughs> if we do, damned if we don't. Might as well go to the cantina and make a mess of it instead of oh. the ship. <laughs> well, there is that. I mean, this way, don't necessarily bring it home with us. Um, to the ranchers' place, yeah. Exactly, because right. it might interfere with the job. So the question is, I mean, it's totally up to you guys. Are you guys going to the ranch, which is the blue square, or the town, which is the green square? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bust up. We're the gonna town. go uh, to the blue square. You're going to go to the ranch? Yeah, no, the blue sky, that's the, the green. Which is the town again? Would you like I me to type it, it on the map? Just The green me, circle is the, is the oh. town. Okay, then we're going to go to the town. The, the blue circle. square is the ranch. Okay, yeah, the town. Apparently, they're not ready for us. I mean, it's not like you offered them money to get ready in the middle of the night. Uh, no. Uh, not gonna pay more. Matter of fact, they're gonna have to definitely. I'm like, I'm gonna use this as a negotiating tactic instead. You know, hopefully uh, to get some off that they made us wait. You showed up early. <laughs> yeah. No, we showed up at the appropriate time. They just weren't ready. Your your employer gave them the ETA that you should have been there. You showed up early. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, the latest we would be there. So you have the map. There's the ship there. I do believe that uh, you guys can control the ship there. It's I have no control, but that's okay. I don't want I don't control. control. Somebody's got control. So, of course, you know, you're flying over. You're seeing different animals. You're seeing, you know, some greenery, a lot, of, lot more brown than greenery. As you guys, you know, it's it's dark, dark, dark. We're talking like when it's dark, this is out in the middle of the uh, boonies where there is no light until you come up and you see this nicely lit up town. You know, it's got that that nice western feel where there's basically a t-shaped road and about uh, 40 buildings are there any other ships that we can see uh there there's a few small ships parked nothing like big or massive it, it looks like you know mom and pop ships you know you're not seeing any like big imperial we presence or anything like that of course not. we stray them <laughs> Time to take them All right. over. So let's uh, land just outside of the. Does that look good to you guys, or should I? 
<laughs> and of course, you know, the, the boarding ramp comes down. It's still the middle of the night. And a c couple of people come walking up to kind of see what you guys are, you know, about if you're coming out of your ship. Or are you guys staying buttoned up in your ship? Well, let's go into the cantina. Um, but uh, uh, wake up, Ed. Okay. Just, just so that he's no, no, just you know. So you having Ed get off the ship, or are you having Ed stay on the ship? Uh, I say, what do you think? I think he should be on the ship, but yeah, we don't we don't want to come on. I mean, you already got me walking. Podunk off. little town. You already got me walking off the ship. I don't. What think is you the want... ship? <laughs> that that that's a nerf, by the way, with a little nerf. No, order. the ship. No, I was just. I don't know if you know what that ship is, but yeah, I'm just. Uh uh. I don't know this ship. As he's scaring you with scary ships. <laughs> Nasty Sith Sith Imperial ships. Is that no. what it No, it's a Jedi ship. I was gonna say, because it doesn't so look... ones. Like I was gonna say ship. it's not in black <laughs> no. you know and gray. <laughs> so and no, I see not why... R2. That's not why Elena's uh stressing. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, you guys right now so <laughs> you guys you know you you, you park your, your ship and you guys are heading off uh, in the dark to the cantina with little tiny running lights that light up they got those solar pa those little solar patio lights that Aww, light up the street so that way you guys can get uh, where you need to go and of course cantina you get the feeling that this three story cantina is one of those 24 7 type of cantinas three story Three stories. It's got some that many uh, dance floors. It's got boarding. You know, there's yeah, the methane floor an in as well, <laughs> and you've got some uh, facilities where you can crash in it if you want, because uh, obviously nobody really lives in this town. <laughs> it's sort of just a way station. Okay, let's head inside. Okay, so as right. you guys head inside, it's it's fairly sparse, you know. It's 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 got like maybe twenty people inside the cantina, and they seem to all just be e either eating very large slabs of meat, Yum. or sitting there nursing a drink. You know, you, you're definitely getting that feeling of that's pretty much the feel of this town is you're either working or you're stopping by and leaving shortly. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Sir, Captain. Let's uh, grab a table. In the corner, my back's in the back in the corner. <laughs> okay, so you guys. And I'm Jason. sitting right next to Zarek. <laughs> and now the question is, do you have the money with you? <sighs> Zarek, did you bring it, or were probably. we? we no, we probably would have left it on board with Ed. Yeah, you sure? All right, whatever you no, tell me. Actually, take into we the would ship. probably, yeah, but was probably oh, we would that? have put it in one of our smuggle hole, smuggling holes. Yep. <laughs> whatever the captain tells me. Okay, so um, you you've got the the. Captain's got a nice spot for you, so you're sitting there and doing your thing. And yeah, uh, my Viber axe leaned against the corner. <laughs> got your Viber axe leaned against the corner to emphasize as the poor uh, waitress. She comes walking up to you guys, and she's like, "So you guys look like you have some dust on you. How how about we get you something nice here to eat? We've got a great deal on the nerf steaks. They're some of the best you can have." All right, so nurse steak and some some kind of egg and some blue milk to go with. Well, we've got the, the, <laughs> sp champions. the spotted purple <laughs> eggs. They're a good one for right now because they're, they're totally in season, I, I have to tell you. All right. 
So you're wanting the uh, the miner's breakfast is what we call that. Big yeah. <laughs> all righty. So 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 miner's breakfast all the way around, and she kind of like gives you the, the guys the look of like. So is that what you all want? Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh man, man. some hungry some girls. Hungry girls. <laughs> you know how it is. You eat a eat a fifth of it, and then, oh, this is too much for me. Here you go, Zarek. Finish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gunter's see, Gunter's been to dinner with me. <laughs> <laughs> or or with, at the Brazil place, it's like, I oh, know, flip my card over, and oh, honey, cut me off a little piece of that. <laughs> just, just a small bite. Just a small bite. Thank you. <laughs> Kelly, not just you, just about every girl I've ever dated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My brother's <laughs> wife and his second <laughs> wife. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Just about any, any every girl I've ever been out to dinner with. <laughs> <laughs> Girlfriend or not. <laughs> Unless they order the salad, in which case, you know, they might finish that. Oh, no, it depends. I, I would most likely finish it. <laughs> it's like, I'm behaving, though. <laughs> and and my husband does not mind having second dinner. <laughs> second dinner is what it's all about. <laughs> when we would go out for, like, prime rib. He'd always encourage me to get the large one, knowing that I won't be able to eat it. Uh-uh. So he can have it, so he yep. can take it home, and he gets second dinner. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's just a wise investment. That's what that is, right? Exactly. Okay, so you guys, you know, I mean, are you guys looking around, or what well, are you yeah. guys doing? I'm I'm assessing the area, of course. I gotta look for threats. That's my uh-huh. job. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. And we have the remote uh, piloting option. So if anybody fucks yeah. up the ship, we'll know. <laughs> well, remember the remote piloting isn't a, isn't an alarm system. Yeah, but Janong will know because Ed will tell him. Yeah, but and I then mean, I can just take the shot. Down, like it would. They've got to go up against my stuff to break in. So rock on. And and. Seriously, that astromech, he's fucking crazy. He will murder a person. <laughs> he likes me, though. What, but he will straight up ship? murder other people. <laughs> How did Sparky get on our ship? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, uh, who's Sparky? <laughs> and that's your Imperial astromech. <laughs> Another game system. Oh. <laughs> This Sparky right. because he came flying out of a ship that we destroyed and then we blasted, oh. him, blasted him with an ion blaster to, you know, shut him down while we come back and rammed him a little bit. But he's got a lot yeah, of quirks. He's a little, little twitch. He, he often rolls uh, uh, so despair and shorts out. Yeah. Plus he's got this attitude of like, kill shit. <laughs> I mean, he is your gunner. Twitchy. So, his owners used him as target practice. So, who's going to be the one to really be the one to roll the look around and and try to try to peek out what you're looking Alina. for? Alina, she's got the best perception. Does she now? Yeah. I think so. I think better than mine. Mine, sadly, I only one have yellow, one green. Yeah, I have one yellow and two greens, plus a blue, actually. I have two yellow, one green, minus one black. What are we looking at? Perception. Perception. Oh, not computers? I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) See the way that works. I'm not very perceptive. Just point me where you want me to fucking destroy shit. Yeah, perception, I have two yellow and one blue, so... Wow, I'm still the worst. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Alina and Janong are, you know, the better choices. All right, so go I for it, Alina. Alina. 
Yeah, yeah are you ready for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're waiting for the GM to say go. Just yep, go, go just for go. it. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Not Apparently it. this podunk town, what? you don't see nothing. She's all too chilled out, thinking, "Oh, it's all oh, good." Shit. Damn it! Oh well. Yeah. See, look. Oh, see, I would have failed anyways too. So, <laughs> 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 but I didn't do bad considering I had much less dice. <laughs> so, what would you like for your uh, advantage there? Um. Um. Really enjoy Not to be completely caught off guard. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> exactly. Uh, blue to whoever rolls next. Okay. So uh, you guys are kind of like all kind of looking up from your food. It's really good food. It's probably the distracting food that's, you know, this big, thick slab of Nerf meat on the plate with the eggs. And, you know, they got the purple eggs. And then you've got some kind of roughage to go with it. Yeah, see, I didn't get any of that. So I'm like all into it. You know, somebody didn't take me to go have that dinner. <laughs> I brought you home a doggy bag, I'm sure, because I wouldn't have been able to finish the steak. She brought you home the bones. <laughs> right? So, uh, as, as you guys are eating and doing your thing, uh, y you know, Alina's kind of looking around, kind of kind of stressing out, and, you know, something's got Alina on edge, and even Alina doesn't know what it is. Yeah, see, she just flipped around. Yeah, <laughs> that, she's like... It's, it's that ship I posted that didn't register with her that's sitting out there. That she just <laughs> didn't notice in the dark of dark that, that it was out there. And it's kind of in inkling in the back of her head. So go ahead and take two strain and everybody else take a point of strain since yeah, your, your exile is coming into play. Yeah, I, uh, I'm already there. We all take strain? Yep, oh, yeah, because Alina's stressing you out for some reason. She's got Jeez. the antsies. Relax, Alina. I'm trying to eat my meal, man. Bad for <laughs> digestion. This steak is so good. <laughs> so, of course, you know, as, as you guys are relaxing and chilling, uh, whose data pad did you guys give for communications? Janong's. <laughs> Did you, Janong? Okay, okay. Was that a yes, or was that somebody in the background? That's a yes. Okay. So, so <laughs> while you guys are eating, your, your pad starts pinging, and it's only been like an hour. Uh, hello? Hello? As, as you know, he he's that guy at the table that pulls his his data pad out and answers the call. And he's like, "So, um, uh, are are you on planet side?" So I want to start a Hold trace. It. Do I know who this is? Yeah, you gave him your number, right? It's the uh, nerf. It's the guy you called. Yeah. So the guys that we he knows that we're planet side. Well, you we called him from orbit. Yeah. Okay. Janong never updated him. Yeah, why would I? He's a jerk. <laughs> we told him we were here. Hey, the jerk's on the phone. You want to take this bus? Yeah. <laughs> here, I'll here, send I'll it to... Uh... It's like, yes, we're playing it side. <laughs> Do you have the beef? Where's the beef? I've yeah, got the nerf. Ding the Ding the Uma. Just, I don't want to talk to you. You know what they say. It's nerf or it's nothing. So, <laughs> all of a sudden, you're now able to get us the, uh, the steaks? Well, I, I woke up one of my boys who, who, if you're here, he can come out and pick you up in, in our hover sled. Yeah, we went to the town because you were very explicit as to you would not be ready. So now you say you're ready? Are you jerking me around? Well, first you, you'll have to come out and you'll have to pick which heads that you're wanting. And it'll take us uh, about two or three hours to, to do, the, do the dirty work, if you know what I'm talking about. 
Like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm going to know which is the good nerf. Who, what, what skill would you use for grading nerf? You could totally use xenology. Yeah. Hold on. I think I have crappy xenology. Let me check. Or maybe survival? Yeah, you could totally use survival. Okay, yeah, none Knowing of those are very good for me. You could Knowing totally use a knowledge could... skill, too. Knowledge nerf. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all my knowledge are just too green. That's it, too green. Well, we know so it has under knowledge. at least five green. <laughs> and... What am I rolling? <laughs> <laughs> As Junaga immediately is like knowledge, I have knowledge and I eat. So okay, so all right, well, shall we pack this up to go? What? Yeah. Well, they gotta get here yet. We'll have time to eat, finish eating before they get here. So they're picking us up at the Yeah, with the landslide of some kind. Yeah, but, okay, so what are we going to do about the vehicle? Well, we have to go back to the vehicle to get the money. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Money. Like, why, why are we getting in there? <laughs> Until we, we can meet them. Good. Let's divide the party. <laughs> <laughs> Until we actually get the meat. Right now, we're just going to pick out the heads that we want cut. We don't okay. need to bring the money with us. We're not putting a down payment on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They can pick us up then. And the ship's secure. Janong's got it. I mean, you totally locked it, right? No ship jackers would be about here. Yeah, even if they are, they they can try and jack it. I encourage it. Worst <laughs> case, you bring the ship to us if we need it. Right? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, you guys are sitting there having a good time. And, um, you know, he basically tells you it'll be about an hour for his son to show up there. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll recognize him. He's got blue skin, red eyes. You know, it's about, uh, about yay high over the data pad. Yeah, typical Daryl's. <laughs> However, while you're there, be careful about the new owner of the cantina. Could you elaborate, please? <laughs> right, is that how you're asking? Yes. Where, where's the honey please? and sweetness for our charming captain? Okay, he's like, I will charm, you know. You know. Can you elaborate, please? Well, he he <laughs> he just came in and and you know purchased that cantina about uh, three months ago, back when we had the the crash happen. What crash? Uh, some fandangled ship. We don't know if it was Republic or if it was Sith crashed in orbit. You know, made a horrible mess over about a good quarter of the planet. Just just dropping people pieces of garbage everywhere. Oh, hopefully it didn't hit any of the nerf. No, 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 no. Thankfully the nerf, they hear sonic booms and they move away. Trust me. In fact, that's why we've got specific no fly zones in, in the in the herd areas. Because, you know, there's nothing worse than some Yahoo acting like he's bombing womp rats, you know, and scaring all the nerf <laughs> out into the hills. So Captain Um He said the owner's a he. We were served by a she, weren't we? Yes. Didn't she didn't claim she didn't to be claim to be the one. Yeah, but yeah. That's the owner's dead in the kitchen and we've been fed poison. <laughs> I just like stay on the ship. <laughs> you gotta go, go pick out, out our herd. You gotta fucking... go pick out the good ones. Yeah, because the computer guy is gonna be so great at that. <laughs> you have <Apparently>, knowledge. <laughs> with knowledge it will. With knowledge all power. things can be unlocked. So you guys, you know, you, you finish eating, you see a couple of the other folks coming and going. At one point, you kind of catch a glance of a guy who's dressed in a nice outfit, like nicer than anyone you've seen dressed. And he kind of like schmoozes with the waitress and schmoozes with one of the patrons. And, uh, Hold on. you know. Hold on a second. I can just send my security drone. 
I can just send my little my little drone, and he can go and look, and we don't have to go there. <laughs> like it's twenty two k range. Like we don't have to go there. <laughs> I think we're gonna get murdered. <laughs> do you, Do you want to? Think- you, you know, know where the the ranch is. You can totally send your drone out there. Yeah, you can. Um, I- gonna get murdered the, if you stay here. <laughs> have I noticed the guy schmoozing? No, uh, not not particular. He's he's trying not to be like super, sh- you know, blatant about it. So he's 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 trying to avoid you guys for the most part. Ooh. I mean, you guys totally look like your bounty hunters. So. <laughs> But we don't notice him. You just kind of like catch fleeting glances of him. Nothing out of the ordinary about him. We just notice him. But, not, but you just notice he's I, the nicest on. one dressed in here. Yeah, except that after the warning the guy gave me, I will be specifically looking out for a guy who would basically fit the description. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, as you kind of are specifically looking for a guy of that description, this the second or third time he pops by, you notice there's this cr- crisply dressed, we'll call it. You know, he's got a nice, you know, dress shirt on, slacks, seems to have no dust on him whatsoever. Unlike 90% of this town, it's got dust everywhere. So you see him and he kind of like is doing the, uh, you know, the walking by and wiping some of the dirty counter and smiling to the, the server droid that's behind the bar, smiles at the uh, server gal, kind of comes over and bumps the uh, hollow entertainment system and it pops up with a nice little like band playing on the, on the hollow deck. Um, uh, what uh, uh, race is he? Uh, human. He's got uh, dark eyes, dark hair. If he ever comes within short range of, of me, I would like to use my my sense power on him. Okay. So uh, you're going to go ahead and activate your sense? Yep. I scroll all the way up here. Dun, 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 <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, oh, I always do that. Just the number and then don't click out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I would like to spend a light side point. That's all you need. You need. To you see can, how he's you feeling. Can, you can totally spend both of them. I mean, I'll, I'll spend this dark side too. <laughs> Okay, so, so so to know his emotional state. You do that Professor Xavier thing where you rub your finger on your temple and open your yourself to the force and you yep. start feeling the ebb and flow and his his emotional state is relaxed amusement. As he's having he's basically coming out and starting to play the crowd, you know, because he basically just got up in the middle of the night and came down for some refreshments. So he's basically coming down and schmoozing, and then he immediately makes eye to eye contact with you. Ooh. Is there a flash of recognition? As all of a sudden you get the flash to your face, flash to his face, flash back through the years at the at the Jedi Academy. As as you recognize his younger face immediately, especially since you've just opened yourself up to the Force. And you totally know, by the way, he's got uh, his, his Force power cooking right now. <laughs> as you, you, you fondly remember him as one of the uh, rascally Jedi in training. You know, as Padawans go, he was one of those ones always willing to get himself into trouble to make everybody else happy. He was one of those guys. So I will grab Uma's wrist, give it a squeeze, and and, and whisper to her, Jedi. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I was about to say, is he a good Jedi? But a bad 
Jedi. I mean, uh, the, after the war, they come in every flavor. Ah, and so, uh, uh, are yeah, either I mean. one of you two trying to be discreet? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah, I'm like, so, I'm doing this very licking my leku to block a stalking. I will, yeah, I will you know. Ap- Make a stealth roll if you need me to be discreet about it. I, I was just yeah, and ask I can do stealth too. Which one of you has the best stealth roll? Me. I think that's Alina. Mm-hmm. I have a good one, but not as good as her. What's what's your stealth? Uh, two yellow, three green, minus one black. That's a great stealth. I'm three yellow, one green. Wow. As, uh, hmm, uh, now, now I'm going to ask you if this is fair, but uh, to make sure that, uh, that you accept that this three thread is fair for you, because uh, he seems to be leering at you, and, and as you two are whispering, you'd clearly see him, his hand reach down to his side. Uh-oh. You know, it's it's almost toy, it's not a lightsaber. It's Relax. almost <laughs> like reflex <laughs> that he reaches hey. down to something that almost like you know you, it's very familiar to what you would be reaching down if danger was happening, and, and then the hand kind of like glides across the the seam of these really nice synth silk pants. I'm just wiping my palm, just wiping my palm. That's all. Exactly, yeah. but but for you, you blatantly saw it. You know, uh-huh. you you blatantly saw, it, and he takes this like gaspy breath. You know, realizing who you are, huh. and, and you have no doubt that he recognizes you, just like you recognize him. Uh-huh. And he kind of glances over at you and Uma having girl talk at the table. <laughs> Don't you just hate when an ex just makes an appearance? <laughs> yeah. Cap, perhaps we should go talk to him. <laughs> Not right. Um, all of us, or should we just invite him to the table? Let's invite him to the table. Yeah, getting up and yeah. all of us marching over might be a little uh, yeah, right? intimidating. <laughs> So I'm going to just kind of, you know, smile and just kind of wave him over, you know, give him the come hither, you know, hey, over here. And he really pouring on the charm. As he kind of like pretends to ignore it at first until the poor waitress is like, um, they're they're waving at you. (laughs) <laughs> As he seems to like, you know, he uh, he he glances and then seems to give her some quiet direction, which you know you might be put, you know, you might be placing that he's just fumbled at the, you know, at the moment he's flustered, flummoxed Stephen. As uh, he he then proceeds to walk over to the table and uh, his body language is completely different. It's almost like he's trying to put on an affectation of uh, either a. W- a concierge at, at, a, at a hotel where he's got his hands either clasped in front of him or clasped behind him before he was walking around talking with his hands and his body language has definitely changed as he comes up and does that polite looks at all of your plates and asks if you, are you enjoying your dinner as a matter of fact yes it was delicious and I just had to say you know for you know the location I mean I this this is extremely high quality. I mean, it's so nice to see in an outpost, uh, you know, an outer rim uh, cantina, such excellent food. As he claps his hands in front of him, smiles, you know, appreciating your feedback. He's like, "Why, well, thank you. I always believe that we all deserve to have the finer things in life. For I, I was raised in a very humble." lifestyle and i learned after the war 
that uh, life should be enjoyed and not uh, endured. And he kind of looks at Alina and he gives her this look. Well, it's really nice when people can put the past behind them. Uh, fortunately, some things can never be put behind them, but uh, they can be endured. And if you can endure a thing, then you can grow from it. And all I would like to say is my establishment here is 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 very open and receptive to new folks. Are oh, you you're the owner. Uh, I, I am. I recently purchased it a few months ago. You seem so cosmopolitan. Why choose such a location, if I might ask? Well, well, unfortunately, I, I had some vehicle issues, and I had to make <laughs> the the most of, of what I could, which uh, ah. pretty much meant selling my ship for parts and uh, investing the money into this this establishment. Well. That, you know, we've all been in situations like that, I think, at one point or another. But moving forward, you know, that's the best way to go. Exactly. exactly. And I will recommend that if anyone comes up to you asking for a ride off this planet, feel free to gouge them for as much as you think they're worth. Because ships leaving the planet that have cargo space are a premium on this world. And it gives you that knowing, you know, that like this tip was for free. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, <laughs> most people don't encourage uh, that type of uh, uh, behavior. So hmm, I'll have to keep that in mind. So where was it that you said you were from again originally? <laughs> and, 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 and do you give him like a look or are you just throwing that out there deadpan no, I'll give him a little look well uh, I've, I've I've bounced around the pla few places but uh, uh, I've you know mostly spent my, my earlier years in the, the inner rim mostly on Corelli was where most of my uh, family was from oh I've been to Corellia very interesting. It has, you know, it's a lot of populace, but uh, some lovely places and some interesting landmarks. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, after the, uh, the uh, shall we call it the embargo by the Empire, the, the planet uh, did lose some of its luster for me. Uh, as it did for a lot of people, I'm afraid, and, and doesn't always make business very good, that's for sure. Uh, definitely. I, I fortunately got lucky at one point and uh, made some business associates who helped to get me off the planet uh, before the war ended. And, then, you know, I basically, you know, bummed around the galaxy, you know, from a few different ships. And, you know, the galaxy chose to put me where it chose to put me. <laughs> Not that I blamed the force, of course. <laughs> So, Corellia, huh? Mm-hmm. Do, do you uh, perhaps know the um, Morningstar family? And, and he kind of puts his hands behind his back and, and, and does this deep in thought, not really. You know, it's that, that mock gesture that you totally know he's, he's, he's pulling the stall tactic. As... Um, Go ahead and give... What's your deception or your discipline? No, we both suck. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're, hold it, you're a Jedi. Your discipline sucks? My he, discipline He's an is, exiled Jedi. Yeah, and it's a wing-based yeah, yeah. skill. That, <laughs> you know, that's that's why she keeps slipping into the dark side. <laughs> 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 it's, uh, so discipline is a yellow and a green, and uh, deception is three green. Which would you like me to go against? Um, let's go against <laughs> <laughs> light go against side point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go against discipline. Okay, so uh, a, gre a green and a gold? Yep. With an upgrade to boot? 
Yep. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wow. So with his big damn triumph, I want him to understand where you're where you're going here with this. What is the angle you're leading him on with? Are you just trying to make him squirm? Or are you trying to convey information? I'm trying to. I'm trying to make, find out if he uh, if he really is involved in in what happened to my family and and why I was exiled. Oh. <laughs> As you know, he he basically gets gets the the gist of what you're throwing out there in super subtle ways, so the party doesn't catch it. As he basically says, unfortunately, my uh, family business went uh, south because, you know what they say, never work with for family. Hmm. And unfortunately, I was put in a situation where I had to choose the greater good or... Um, Yourself. No, no, not myself, my life and, and those around me. Mm -hmm. And I, I figured um, the greater good is being around to do things for other people. So I uh, opted to get myself out of a rough situation and got as many people as I could off the planet with me. <laughs> Thankfully, once we got off the planet, uh, the the folks kind of pooled their funds and gave me a thank you gift that, that was good enough to keep me a ship to get off uh, the, the next planet we went to. Unfortunately, I was separated really generous. from the family business. And he gives you that look of like, nope, I, 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 got, I barely got out of that situation myself. Um, let's see. We don't have insight, do we? <laughs> nope. No, and I'm wondering, do I have any? There, it's just, just eating away, savoring the steak, little bites at a time. <laughs> The captain doesn't give them meals like this very often. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, she's nice as hell, but I was about to say I sound like an ogre. But I don't typically get to eat this nice. <laughs> well I took you to parties, I take it to <laughs> I take you to terrible, terrible cantinas in the worst parts of town. <laughs> Those were fun. That last party sucked. <laughs> so I, I'll dismiss them and basically, you know, say, well, I suppose let by, bygones be bygones. Yeah, as he, he kind of sadly smiles about that. You know, you, you, you sense this this hint that uh, he, he, he shouldn't be let off the hook for, for putting himself and the people he was with first. He, he should have come back for all of, it, of his friends. That he's feeling a little guilty, you mean? Yeah, you, you're, you're picking up a little ping of guilt. So what's, what's this here in the chat? Oh, I was just posting in there the social skills. So if somebody is uh, using coercion, deception, leadership, it's opposed by discipline. If someone using charm, it's opposed by cool. In negotiation, it's negotiation or cool. So in case somebody wanted to, to, to like socially get into it. <laughs> well, I mean, I wanted to kind of try and do something of this insight equivalent just to see is he gonna uh, as soon as we leave kind of you know like notify somebody that we're here you know rat us out basically or do we get the impression that you know he's he's fine with actually you know being you know bygones begone bygones or you know Keep up the detente. 
Okay, so what skill do you want to use there for that? See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what... The problem is, you don't know this guy for Adam, so you have to, you, you'll, you'll want to engage him to, to find that out. Well, that's what I've been trying to do. Like, that's why I've been doing the small talk, so to speak. Mm-hmm. So, um... Do you want perception? to try using a cool, a perception... Let's see. What is my cool? Is my cool? Uh, perception slightly better. So let's go with perception. Okay. okay. Hold on just a sec. Up. Oh. Uh, it's like, it's like right, at it. right at it, man. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and go against his his discipline. So he's trying not to give, to reveal anything. Darn, because I had a good roll. All right. Yeah, you had a good roll because you had extra yellows. <laughs> okay, so you so you're looking at this guy like he's definitely giving you the body language and instinct that uh, he did not plan to run for, run into somebody from high school, and uh, <laughs> he's got some mixed emotions with Alina and of course with Alina open up to the force he's got like all kinds of weird squishy feelings going on here but I'm definitely I'm not getting the impression that he's going to rat us out as his first opportunity it doesn't seem to he totally doesn't seem like he's going to pull a Lando <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to alter the deal further <laughs> okay bad. Like, <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm going to, hey, we've all had, you know, stuff that we didn't necessarily like in our past, but, you know, we just, moving forward is the best way. And I'm saying this sincerely, you know, like if he's, you know, I've done shit I'm not proud of. <laughs> Ooh, he's in a dark place right now. Okay. And, and he just kind of like nods like he's, he's introspective right now. And he kind of like walks right over to the bar and sits down and, you know, waits for the server door to pop up with his, his usual. You can totally tell when he sits down and pulls a napkin over, the droids automatically like porn his usual. As he just sits there and starts, you know, drinking his drink really slowly out of a martini glass. Great. You drove the guy to drink. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Okay. I want to go over there and say, look, dude, I'm sorry if I brought up something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Don't you can totally you, do man. that. I, You know what I am? I'm going to, uh, I'm like, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to, Hey, um, I don't know what's going on, but I just want to say I'm sorry if I, you know, reminded you something. Honestly, I was trying to, you know, give your place a compliment. Uh, and if I did anything that made you uncomfortable, I do apologize. You're caressing them with your laiku and stuff. While you're no! Bow, chicka, bow, wow. <laughs> okay. Daniel you know, Craig is uh, my. I, I, I'm being charming, and you know, because you know, I don't want to drive ooh. somebody to drink. <laughs> so go ahead and give me a oh charm roll. My God, I triggered roll. the poor guy. <laughs> Sorry, what? Sorry, what? Give Give me a charm roll. See how charming you can be. Uh, yeah. And uh, Alina, you get since you blue for being sincere, <laughs> no, you don't get a blue for being sincere. <laughs> this is Uma we're talking about. <laughs> okay. Do ready? I give you a black because you're lying? No. <laughs> yes, it's ready. And Alina, well, uh, oh, oh my God. Well, Uma goes over there and she actually looks like, oh my God, I think I broke him. Like, I'm and so I like sorry, I didn't mean to. So well, like did touch him. That's the uh, 
the triumph. <laughs> yep. So uh, while, while Uma's doing the schmooze with him in a sincere, like, hey, I know we've all seen some shit. We've all done some shit. It's cool. Alina, no, it's like, I'm so sorry if I... I mean, I'm yeah, truly I'm apologetic, really and like, if I mean, if I unknowingly triggered something, I I apologize. I mean, and, and he takes this long pause as he starts to to take take a long drink of his drink, and he's like, "So, uh, uh, our friend Alina over there, and the fact that he just dropped her name." Without technically being introduced, mm -hmm. has she told her told you, you you about anything about her her early life, her her school uh, years? Um. Oh, not really. Oh. Only that things didn't go well. And what are your surface thoughts right now? Uh oh. My surface thoughts. I'm like she a hoe. <laughs> no, did, I mean, did Alina actually, I mean, Alina has never really told us specifically what went down, um, but uh, only that shit went sideways long before the shit hit the fan with Order 66. Well, remember, so, this is Old Republic. There's, there's no yeah, Order 66. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I this was, was the um, Sith Empire won the war by declaring peace it. and making the Jedi all leave. Yeah, so let's just put it this way. Shit went sideways for her before the war on... Just know that... Yeah, that's pretty much... I don't know specifics. I just know shit went sideways. And he just kind of looks at you and just nods because he's not, he's not going to give any of her business away. But he's just like, one of these days, and he kind of snaps his fingers at the serving droid and points behind the bar, and the droid puts a bottle in the bar, and he basically slides a new bottle of some kind of hooch. It looks probably like clear moonshine. And he says, one of these days, maybe you and her should sit down and finish a bottle and talk things out girl to girl. Shit. I'm like, it's like everyone's got a past. It shouldn't prevent their future. And, and he he says, "I'll drink to that." And he basically gestures to get his cup refilled. And just then, with Alina's keen hearing, she hears outside the through the nice wall here. The vroom vroom of a handful of swoop bikes coming in hot and fast. How reckless in the dark. We're, we're on them all. Boys, there's going to be a throwdown. I'm like, I was going to say, do you guys have a any issues on this planet that we need to be aware of? After hearing the... The vroom vroom? Uh-huh. As he just, you know, he, he basically gestures to the, the waitress to clean up, and you see her grab a bunch of plates, and she takes off behind one of the doors and basically is, is low profile. And he just looks over to you, you know, kind of rubs his hip, must have an ache in that hip there, as he's just like, no, we just have rowdy customers who work hard and expect to play hard. And uh, thankfully for my profit margin, they like to drink hard. Yeah, well, as a Twi'lek, I just don't like to be one of the things that they consider a plaything. Ooh, and you say that? What do yeah, because that's pretty much on my surface thought. Like, whenever I hear, you know, what, what she is... escapes slavery, she's not keen to be. So if someone would ha were to happen to be listening in on your surface thoughts, what would they get from you? Um, basically that it's like that type of, you know, when you hear the rowdy, the really rowdy, you know, basically rowdy guests that like to play hard. I keep thinking of my early childhood where I was sold into slavery by my own freaking clan. Rowdy, you know, guys that thought they'd make a quick buck. And what's I mean, your... and then 
being man's took makes took me to all the best places. What is your perception, by the way? Uh, my perception is uh, one yellow, two greens, and a blue. Okay, so so you notice when when you're thinking these dark thoughts because you know it's putting you back in that place, you actually see him react like as if you were saying something or slapped him in the face. And I noticed this. And you notice this with those three threat. He was trying to keep like, his composure, but he also was like Alina and has shitty discipline because he left the order too. <laughs> Like, I just seem to be totally making this guy uncomfortable. <laughs> That's going to be a wreck. I as, know. He's like, as as like he, a he kind of, bottle. you know, he, he kind of puts his arm, hand gently on your forearm in a, in a, you know, completely consensual kind of way where there's that hesitation. And he says, I, I promise everything should be fine. It's just, uh, I, I have to be on performance. If you would like to go sit with your friends and please take, Take the bottle and take the advice if you don't mind. Yeah, no, I'll I'll take the bottle and the advice. I too um, often have to perform, so yeah, like do the like I got you. And, and he immediately turns around, kind of tugs his shirt to get the the wrinkles out. Turns around, puts on this big fake smile, and starts walking out. Just as you hear the door kind of open, as there's there's obviously a rowdy bunch of Rough Riders just came in, and they're hooting and hollering and talking crap and going, "Oh my God, did you see how disgusting that was?" And and he immediately comes out and just does the gentle bings, gentle bings. Welcome to the best late night happy hour ever. Come on up to the bar. The first round is on me. A and immediately you guys see, you know, a bunch of, they, they look like ranch hands, you know, except uh, Alina for the party. Go ahead and give me a perception. Oh, shit. <laughs> And apparently, Alina doesn't want to fuck it up. Okay. For the party, so. <laughs> oh, it gives me some dark side and some balance. I'm good with that. Whoa, that's Ooh, a lot of dark side. Apparently, you're yeah, picking up on their dark humors. Those weren't supposed to be in there. Disregard them. <laughs> okay. Just take the rest of the roll. <laughs> okay, so what would you like for your advantage? All right, for my advantage, uh, I think we're going to throw a blue to whoever goes next. Okay, so these 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 six guys, you can obviously see who's the top dog of the group. You know, he kind of like, you know, shows up just by the way he's talking to everybody and the fact that he places the order for everybody. And, and these guys look really, you know, they're pulling their bandanas off their mouths that were keeping their bugs out of their face while they're riding their bikes. You do notice that uh, they all have some blood or gore on them. Like their knees, their shin, their their laps. Like they got in, into some in mess. A tussle? Not, not injuries. Something bloody and messy. And it doesn't what? look like they're wearing Stick butcher up. shop aprons. Wait, say that last bit again? It, it doesn't look like they're wearing butcher shop aprons. You know, it doesn't look like they're professional butchers. Mm. But you're seeing, like, one guy's boots are just covered in dried blood. Like, we're talking a lot of blood is between the, the, the five of these guys. Like, they've been cutting somebody or something up. As, you know, you, you kind of hear the one guy talk when he's just like, and did you see how that thing was split open? I mean, I, I, I saw somebody hit, hit with a thermal detonator once, and there was there was more pieces of them than there was of, of, of that nerf. Oh, 
And they're okay. like, yeah. So uh, after we finish these drinks, we're going to tell the boss that we did three laps around the property and made sure the proximity fence was still working. Huh. And of course, you know, some of the guys are just like, I'll do it if you give me another drink. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So I wonder if they like were doing something that they weren't supposed to do or were they um this was just something attacking their perimeter fences that they slaughtered. No, this is them running over the things and now this guy's convincing those people to lie. <laughs> <laughs> that cow dip in there, cow exploding. <laughs> Yeah. I hate cow tipping on a speeder bike and you miss. <laughs> oh god. Nobody so knew. No Duros in this group, I'm assuming. Nope, no Duros. Yeah. There's like a weak way, a lot of uh Clatoonians was the ones that had the little like horns in their face. Mm -hmm. And uh some scraggly looking uh human. That's that's the guy who obviously is the boss. And of course, your hostess with the Moses is basically catering to them to, you know, make sure that they're happy. And um, so, what did you trek in on the floor here? As as you can see, that there's this brown and red footsteps from this her this herd of uh, riders. Herd of nerf herders. <laughs> <laughs> Did they respond? So how, yeah, how, how, what's their response to that question? Because we're um, all listening. As you guys are being all super quiet, so I was waiting to see if you'd like pounce on something. Is is they kind of get a hushed tone, and, and he leans in to the owner, and he's like, "Well, you 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 know how crazy you know Coon said he had that issue, and he's like, yeah, he he, he said something was out there killing some of his nerve." But uh, that's that happens every couple seasons. I mean, it could be the you know in Didge, they could be coming back to this side of the planet. You know, it's not unheard of. Well, we're completely on the other side, and we lost five of our nerf, and we don't know exactly what happened. It just looks like something came up and just cut the head off one of the nerf. Okay. And the the and the, and this one guy you know that that pulls out his little you know knife and starts cleaning his fingernail with it. Obviously, he seems to be the more trackery type, and he's like, "And it's bad. There's no trails. The nerves seem to not even run away from whatever was killing them. It's almost like the stupid things stood there and let themselves be slaughtered." So then, like, why are these guys covered in gore if they're not the ones that did it? That I whisper that to the rest of the group. So okay. Why are these guys, you know, I mean, our group, it's like, well, so why are these guys the ones that are covered with, uh, you know, the gore if they are not the ones that did it? Yeah, something's up. And so, you know, the, the, the one human kind of turns around, he looks to see who's all in the bar, and he, his, his eyes kind of, you know, slowly look over you guys because you're all new faces. And he kind of lifts up his drink and takes a sip and says, so I got a question for any of y'all here. Anybody flying around on a spaceship not too long ago? Well, yes. <laughs> yes, we were. What's it to you? Anybody go uh, flying around east of here and uh, think it'd be funny to do some flybys on some Nerf? I don't think it's funny to do anything to a nerf. As he kind of stomps his boot and some gore kind of plops on the floor. He's like, well, my uh, my mates here and I had to finish butchering up some nerf that uh, something tore to pieces. Then you should be looking for something terrestrial. How far away is that 209? <laughs> He's in the ship. So. He's in the I know, ship. How far away is that? He's like less than you know nine hundred feet. Right. 
So what do you think tore up your nerf? Well, whatever it was, it was big because uh, it picked up a nerf and carried it off. Huh. And of course, you know, they're basically small water buffalo. And uh, he kind of like looks around and he's just like, he's asking me a good question. Let's see what the answer is. <laughs> As he's like, it's uh, bigger than a rancor, smaller than uh, a ship. That's specific. Uh, we saw some weird scraggly marks, but we didn't see anything. And they're all like, and yeah. Did you I'm... hear anything? We heard the sound of about uh, six to eight Nerf getting murdered. I'm thinking we need to get a posse together and go see if any of them uh, locals are stalking some of our herds again. Is that a common occurrence? And, and one guy starts to chime up saying, you know, hey, I haven't seen one of them in a year. And he kind of like looks at the guy and the guy shuts up. <laughs> As you get Just the general getting flashes of Naboo and what they did to the poor Gungans. All right. Mm -hmm. Colonists and the indigenous. Always that classic rivalry. As you know, he basically, you know, downs his drink real quick and he's like, Well boys, we gotta we gotta finish doing our patrol and making sure everything is good. And he kinda like says this like he's he's trying to be heroic to the to play of the the crowd. And if anybody knows what's causing this killing and can make it stop, I'll personally throw some credits up as a reward. And the one guy's like, you ain't got no credits. If you had credits, you'd be off this world. <laughs> Captain, maybe we should take a look. Yeah. yeah. Why? Isn't our ride going to be here in like a half an hour? Less, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah, then why are we going to leave? And, you know, the no, only... No, I don't think we can ask his... Because it's the son that's coming to get us that maybe we can ask the father... What the hell's going on? So Alina's yeah. buddy here immediately pulls his glass up because he kind of wants to jump in on the momentum. And he's like, and one free round of drinks every month or or every, every day for a month for whoever finds whatever's killing these animals out there. Because obviously it flies like a star hopper and eats like a Wookiee. And of course, a couple of people chuckle at the joke he makes. As you, you hear this this wookie roar from the kitchen. Oh, and uh, was funny hair in my food. <laughs> <laughs> it's seasoning. It's garnish. It's as as it. these guys all slam their drinks down and bang them down on the bar rude, to the that rudely level. And they, they start to walk out and just as they're walking out and he's just like, Be safe, boys. Don't uh don't don't drink and drive and get yourself hurt or uh, run into whatever that is out there. And, and just as they're about to hit right here, a young Duros comes walking in, and each of these guys take their time to be jerks and do that whole shoulder chuck into them. Mm. As the kid's hat falls off to the ground and he kind of dusts his hat off and puts it back on, clearly you see it's a young Duros, probably of like 16, 17 age range. He's got lots of holes in his clothes, you know. And he comes in and immediately gives, you know, the bar owner a nod. He comes looking around and the owner just looks at the kid and kind of gestures your direction. And he says, I, I think what you're looking for is over there. And, and he kind of like immediately looks at you guys and gets kind of excited and walks over to your table. Because your new face is... Yeah, yeah. The power of the new face. Okay. It's like uh, I take it you are our ride. Uh, yes, 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 ma'am. My my my, my pa sent me to come pick. Uh, are are all four of you coming? Uh, yes. Yeah, um, and why were those guys being dicks to you? Oh, they're 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 not too bad. They're just you know rough around the edges, like my ma says. They're, they're, yeah. they're, well, why are they picking on you? 
they're, they're just give me a hard time because, you know, I, I'm not old enough to be riding that, you know, late at night with them. Instead, I got to be working the ranch with my dad. Well, that's where you should be. And he kind of <laughs> smiles at Alina like, you, you get it. <laughs> it's it's all about family out here. You gotta you gotta take care of what's yours and your family's, or you know you might turn around and it might be gone. Say, so, um, what's your name, kid? Oh, uh, my name's Desic. Desic, what can you tell us about these Nerf being killed brutally? Captain, why don't we save that for the road? <laughs> oh, it's going to be a trip, yeah. yeah yes, he's like, like well, in, in, in my 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 hover sled, I can fit one of you in, in the front with me, and the rest will have to sit in the back. It's okay, though. I got some, some towels so you can wrap around yourself so it won't get too cold. I'll take the bag. Everyone okay. except for Uma should be like, I'll take the back so Uma <laughs> and the dude can talk. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll uh, you know, I'll, I'll chat him up. Okay. Yeah. So he... I mean, I've ridden in the back of a pickup before, so I, yep. I still survived. Hover sled looks like a nice size, you know, pickup that's got, it's got, it's got rails to protect anyone from falling out. So you don't have to worry about that. There's a stack <laughs> of uh, blankets no back there. <laughs> A little bit of, like, supply, you see, you see, and some spare poles that look like they were just tossed back there. If uh, Janong looks at them, yes, they're proximity fence poles. It's almost like, well, he's here. He's picking up some stuff. Good nice, thing they've got nice. uh, late-night pickup. Multitasking. So for the proximity poles, it's like a fence type mm -hmm. of thing? It's, it's yeah. like in, in the modern world, a microwave fence. Where if you break okay, yeah. the beam. Uh-huh. And uh, he basically pops open the window in, in this, this pickup truck style hover sled so you guys can yell back and forth. And he's like, it, it's just going to be about 45 minutes. And he like zips off really fast. It's almost like this kid has a, has a need for speed. Yeah, he wants to. Like, like That's more. okay. I'm yeah. good with speed. You can't ride a hover bike or uh, whatever, so, you know, got to do what he can. No swoop. So, um, basically, you know, he's willing to answer any questions you got or tell you any stories that he's heard. Okay. Well, um, well, it's nine, so we will have to uh, question him on the ride. Okay. <laughs> So he will tell you, yes, that uh, th those guys have good intentions, but uh, just don't uh, try not to piss them off because they get a little vindictive. Gotcha. <laughs> I uh, dinged up one of their swoops once, and uh, I got crap for a while for that one. Well. <sighs> Bullies always get their comeuppance. Yeah, we'll, we'll save them for next. Oh, uh, they're, they're not bullies. They're not, they're not bad guys. You just gotta you just gotta give them a chance. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, and as you guys get in the swoop, the, the, the speeder lift zips off out of town. You see like, you know, little hint of sunrise coming up. But not really sunrise, just a hint of sunrise. Just a hint. It's just a reflection <laughs> of one of the five moons beaming light back on the planet. That's what lets the nerf eat late at night. <laughs> okay. Blow their things that eat them. And of course, yes, he, he wanted you, to, as you're leaving town, to point out your ship. Do you point out your baby? I think it's pretty obvious that we're the only one with the big ship. Yeah, but you know, humor the kid, Captain. It's like... <laughs> Well, so that's the baby. Point hits the smallest ship and go, that's it. <laughs> carry all the shit in that thing right there. <laughs> As he's like, oh, you, 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 you're just, you're just joking on me. I see the way it is. <laughs> okay, so we'll have screens. I give him a dazzling smile and. 
I was going to say, go ahead. No, go ahead. Give him a charm roll. Young, impressionable young man. We're just going to strap it to the hood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Uma, you have him wrapped around your leku. <laughs> Okay, so we get the screen swipe as the speeder is taking off. And then somewhere off in the darkness, there's this horrible sound Aww. of something killing something. <laughs> Thankfully, it blends in with the, sp the speeder sound. <laughs> and we'll say that that is a good place to wrap it up there. Excellent. And XP? Uh, 10 XP. I'll be generous. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay, saving that. Come as on, computer. Uma is, as uh, Alina is thinking she's seeing another exile. She was thinking worse before, but now she's thinking it's another exile out there. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's not the only exile. Maybe like not. A, a bunch on that ship that came here and crashed. All righty, guys. And uh, let's let's think about Friday and me. Or Saturday me. and me. Yeah. Saturday I, and me uh, I did hear back from, from Landon. He said he's not quite sure yet, so I told him to get back to me ASAP. I will I will make a judgment call to like tomorrow afternoon if he's not able to tell me. <laughs> um, just because I'm, I want to make sure I can get in the reservation, you know, without any any hassle. So yep. And check uh, with Golda. Yeah, yep, she, yeah, she definitely said she wants well. to go out and hang, so. Cool. Okay. Alrighty, guys. And, um, Jim, J JC still on the call? Uh, okay, well, I gotta I go, guys, left. so good night. All right. yep. Good night. We'll, 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 right. we'll, we'll chit-chat. Well, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'll let you, I'll, I'll reach out tomorrow, um, tomorrow afternoon and let you guys know one way or another what day we're going with. Um, Alrighty. Yep. And we'll just work it out from there. All right, cool one. Later, guys. All right, later, guys. Sweet.